In step five, we're going to start uh, inspecting things and testing things to make sure they work. It might include test tubes, but it might not. Either way, we've got to figure out if the solution that we chose in step four really works, which is why we have step five. We're in the middle of a series on the six steps of project-based learning. Welcome to PBL Simplified for Teachers, where we take your PBL need to knows to simplify the PBL process in your classroom. The question of the day is, what's the coolest science experiment you've ever done in school? Maybe you're in a classroom or maybe when you were a learner. Right now, we're talking about step five of the six steps of the PBL process. Step five is where we're going to create, run, inspect the solution that we've come up with as learners. In any great science classroom where you're really doing some good lab work, we don't really know how things are gonna end up, right? If it's a, a cookbook lab, then we know that if we go steps one through 10 and we do it all right, we know it should turn blue. But if you've really got a real world problem and you're trying to figure out a brand new creative solution, you don't know if it's gonna work. So you've gotta test it. Again, that might mean goggles, it might not be. It might mean that you need to you know, do a poll. You might need to figure out, you go talk to the food pantry and say, hey, would this be a good idea? Do you need this and this? And they might say, no, we don't need that second portion. You'd say, okay, well, what do you need? And you can start to add to it, but you want to test this solution before we fully implement, because this is implementation stage. So if you implement and you have a failure, you go back, you rework it, and start to bring that new solution to the table. So in step five, we're going to tune our solution. So we're going to do a tuning protocol. We'll link that down in the description as one of the great resources you'll have for this step. It's also going to be where our presentation is located. So we're going to be looking at end products and how do we tune those portions. Also down in the description of how can you brainstorm great end products. So step five is going to be our presentation phase. There's going to be a lot of creation of the work if it hasn't happened already, depending on your phase and your benchmarking. This is where your groups are really working together and they're solving that problem. And then you have an authentic audience come in to authenticate the work, to say, wow, this really is good work. I really like what you've done here and here. I wonder if you've thought about some of these other things. So we're still pushing the envelope with our learners and their critical thinking. But there is gonna be a presentation here that's gonna be our culminating event so that we can put a kind of a capstone on this PBL unit in step five. And then in step six, we'll get into reflection. So step five is still a pretty meaty and weighty step where a lot of things are happening. Make sure you put practice presentations in here somewhere because that culminating event can start to feel pretty heavy for your learners and they need to have some stress as they're presenting in that practice presentation, but it should be an audience that's much easier. Here it might be your peers and they know that they're gonna be getting feedback before they get to the real deal of that culminating event. So put a practice presentation in there for you so you know what your learners are gonna say, but also for your learners to take some of the stress out of it and they can figure out what they need to say and where the holes are. Another great time to look at have them look at their rubric. If you're grouping at this point, if you've got groups of, I don't know, four, they all need to have a role. You should only have people in your group if they have a role. One role might be the rubric guru to go through and start to say, what do we have? What do we still need? This is a good phase to work that out before you present. Hey, as you're going through these six steps, there is a structure to PBL. There's no mess in the middle at this point. We know how it works out and we know how to create great results. So you might wanna look at some open workshop options. If you go to the Magnify Learning site, you can look under services and we have some open workshops where you as an individual teacher can jump in with other teachers around the country to start learning about project-based learning and build a PBL unit for yourself. So we walk you through the different protocols. Great way to really slingshot your PBL career and jump in with both feet. And that's definitely going to help you engage your learners, tackle boredom, and transform your classroom.